Despite delivering shareholder wealth over his tenure, Ian Arev has seen the bank through a number of scandals like bad financial advice and unpaid claims from its insurance business. The latest, an investigation by Austrac, seems to be the final straw, with the board confirming he'll retire by the end of 2018 financial year and receive a pay cut. Only last week, Ian Arev told SBS World News he's still the right man for the job. I've got a lot of energy to bring not only to the challenges immediately relating to the Austrac claim, but also the other challenges and opportunities that we have. But today, the board confirmed he'll retire by the end of the 2018 financial year, the exact timing dependent on the outcome of an ongoing internal and external search process for his replacement. While not directly linking Austrac's investigations, in a statement, Chairman Catherine Livingston said that the board agreed it is important for the business to deal with the speculation and questions about Mr Narev's tenure. The board has stepped up to the plate on this one. You know, early on when this first arose, they cut the short-term bonuses, they took a haircut themselves, which is extraordinarily rare. The biggest haircut will be for Mr Narev. The bank's annual report released today revealed his $12.3 million 2016 financial year remuneration was cut to just under $9 million after the board clawed back long-term bonus payments. Last financial year, he was paid five and a half million. The clawback mechanism is really more, I think, about the board saying we actually recognise that accountability has to be taken at that very senior level. It's not even that you were necessarily involved, but if you're at the senior level of an organisation, you are accountable for what happens on your watch. But on his watch, Mr Narev has managed to lift Combank's share price by nearly 65% since he took the top job at the end of 2011. Narev was seen as a very good operator and it's very likely the investment community will take a more complex view of the situation and give him a tick. In the meantime, shareholders say addressing the issue of compliance is paramount. You should be able to act very speedily on any issues of concern. Uh, that's that's the big thing here is, you know, was everyone just a sort of sleep at the wheel? Was it a giant bureaucracy where everything was just disappearing into a black hole? That's what needs to shift. 